the grass on the other side. Brown grass. <laughs> Married couples, please don't cross over. I've seen too many unknowing humans think they want to play in the grass on the other side only to find out that the grass was brown. And they ruined a perfectly green field of their very own that ended their marriage. Men, don't fall for the eyelashes that bend back and touch your forehead or the new and improved pumped up basketball boobs or the long flowing hair that's attached with glue that could, could and will be easily snatched off by an angry wife or the swivel hips that were made in Brazil or the long twisted tongue that will suck your soul away and require a doctor's visit and medication afterwards. Women, don't fall for that car that he's leasing or the one that belongs to his other girlfriend or those fake pimped out shoes from the 70s or his lying tongue with the smell of another woman's ass on it or his back bank account that doesn't exist or the lie he told about how long his Big Johnson or Peter or Bone or Horse or whatever he tried to call his size five tickle his sock with or the disease he wants to give you. So everyone, just stay in your own yard on <laughs> and enjoy flowing fresh pear green grass. <laughs> Experience your experiences together. Make some changes, change positions, take some trips, Catch the sun in each other's arms. Love your own mate willingly and freely. Don't let anyone jump in your circle and let your love for each other always rule. And remember, the grass on the other side is already tainted, dirty, and brown. <laughs> okay, this was a piece for my husband, Jesse, or raw passion. Soft words threading through anxious ears with love attached, like butterflies landing on vibrant flowers. The nature of true passion seeping with love running wild and free, embracing clarity of what's to come, seeking joy and love. The ultimate ingredient to passion is unconditional love. Like that. Very nice. Okay. So you snap or whatever. You yeah, y'all can snap or whatever. <laughs> you can laugh or whatever. Um, you from my book, Cold Red. Um, and this is called The Candle. We are all candles. Our hearts are the flame. We flicker through life. Each flame different but warm. How will your flame burn? Grip it, grip it hard, tightly. Tighten up like twisting a doorknob. There is raw satisfaction just ahead when you grip it. So ladies, just grip it. You can take it any way you want. <laughs> this is for people that are still wanting or looking for that love. A lover with potential. Yes, the roses were beautiful, the conversation was interesting, but great. His clothes were clean and regal, cologne fresh and drawing. His eyes had a glimmer of intrigue. When he spoke, his voice was calm and soothing, unique and flattering. I rested my thoughts on what could be between him and me, potential. I had no baggage, neither did he. A secure understanding, a firm, positive attitude, our meetings were always meaningful. We made each other laugh. My heart filled with flutters. We made plans. We became friends. Could he be my lover with potential? Hmm. <laughs> Question for you. Yes. What got you into starting writing poetry? I started writing poetry um, when I was in grade school and I just continued out through high school and just kept writing and kept writing and they had i was in a poetry group at school 
that um, we, me and another friend of mine would, would uh, put poetry out just like everyone else and our, po our poetry was never published in their book. So I just kept writing and kept writing and I was working on a book ever since I was uh, in my 20s and I wanted my grandmother to read it because she loved reading, reading books. And so I was working on the book and my grandma passed away and I was very sad and I was crying and I came home from her funeral, which was in Minnesota. And I said, I told my husband, I said, I wanted to write, finish this book for grandma. And I didn't get a chance to finish because she had passed. And my husband looked at me and said, I just bought you a brand new computer. What are you waiting for? So I got on the computer and I finished writing the book in one week and published it in 2006. And I was speaking freely. So that's what got me started and continued in poetry. How many books have you written so far? I've written four books, um, Speaking Freely, Thunder, Scribbles of Intimacy, and Speaking Freely Part Two. And the next book that I'll be writing is called Cold Red, and it's everything that you want, wanted to say and didn't. Okay, what does that mean, everything you wanted to say and didn't? Well, some people don't like to talk about family secrets. Some people don't like to talk about sex. Some people don't like to talk about race. Um, some people don't like to talk about death. And this book is going to have all of that in it. And where do you find inspiration for doing these type of books? For your um, poetry? Where do you find inspiration? I find inspiration in everything. Every aspect of life. Um, every day. People. Family. Everything. And I know it's hard to say, but since you've, you're an author of many books, it's like saying, who is your favorite child? Any book you like more than the other one? Of my books? Uh -huh. Speaking Freely is my favorite favorite book, and my second favorite is Scribbles of Intimacy. Mm. Mm. Scribbles of Intimacy. Mm -hmm. mm. Tell us something about yourself, your background. Um, I'm a native of Omaha, Nebraska. All my life, I like to travel. Um, I enjoy my daughters and my grandchildren and my husband and my family. I have a very large family on my mother and father's side and I just enjoy uh, just talking to family and learning about past history, present history, and just love seeing family and friends. Okay. And the location you're at today, where did you find out? This is the Next Chapter Bookstore located at 25th and Farm Farnham, um, run by Shelly. And she was nice enough to let me have my book signing here for speaking freely and nice enough to have to let me have another gathering here uh, for open mic. Awesome, awesome. Uh, well, I, I noticed that in, the, in your writing that your husband is a great source of uh, inspiration in a lot of your poetry and different things. And I think that's awesome um, that you're writing about the love and marriage and the last two that you shared was about uh, potential in relationships and, and sticking into a relationship. And I think that's almost like a niche for you to share about uh, relationships. And wh where'd you gain all this wisdom about um, relationships and, and staying in marriage and loving your husband and raising your family? And... Well, we've been together for 39 years and we're high school sweethearts and we've been married for 34 years. We just uh, celebrated our anniversary. And my inspiration uh, from my poetry about my husband and love and sex and marriage is just his friendship overall, his respect that he's always had for me and just unconditional love that he always shows me. And I feel like that he's the same guy that I met back uh, 39 years ago in high school. And congratulations, I think you just celebrated anniversary here not too long ago, right? Yes, I did. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you.
at my mom's book. It's on Amazon.com or BarnesandNobles.com. Recommend them to each and every one who likes Audra and who knows Audra and knows what she's about. She's a great writer. Uh, she's a great author. We're here making your books and your art and your jewelry. Um, this is a great day. Uh, your second book, or I think that this is your third or fourth book, isn't it? That's all right. You keep them coming because you're very talented in all that you do, and it's been an exciting time. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to... Uh share something with y'all today that um, yesterday, yesterday I got my copy of uh, Scribbles of Intimacy by uh, Audra Stennis uh, Owens and uh, <laughs> um, I started reading it yesterday um, evening when I started reading it and I, I didn't put it down and if I had uh, a little less uh, melon in my skin you, you'd probably be able to tell I, I, I was blushing and I'm still blushing uh, about uh, some of the things that uh, um, my friend and my sister uh, has written. Um, I mean, y y you guys have got to get a copy of this book. On uh, page six, you'll be like, what? And uh, uh, page 23, I was like, <laughs> and then the one that says the intensity, intensity of making love. You, you gotta get a copy of this book, but uh, and uh, support this great author um, from our city and, and my friend. Uh, and more importantly, I think the great thing about this book, I, I consider it to be the modern day uh, Song of Solomon because it's clearly poetry about a man and a woman, a married man and a woman loving each other and still having the same passion and desire um, that you hope that everybody would have. So I hope that you will... Uh, purchase a copy of this book. I'm going to post the link uh, up or down, wherever it might be, so that you can um, order it off of Amazon. I think that she's having a, uh, a book signing and doing some of her poetry. If you've had an opportunity to hear her do her poetry, uh, <laughs> you, 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 you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I just want to let you know, I think it's a, a great book, and this is a great author, and I think that everybody can to support and get a copy of this book um, buy it for a friend a couple that may be a little dry <laughs> you read scribbles of intimacy intimacy i think i'm not pronouncing that word right uh it's gonna add some spice uh to uh your love life and everything else so again much congratulations to audra on writing her third book so she has others out there and i hope that you will support this author and get a copy of Scribbles of Ecstasy, Intimacy. I can't say that word for some reason. And also, just remember, the link is um, here where you can order a copy. Get a copy of this book. <laughs> it's, 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 it's off the chain. And if you know Lachelle anyway, uh, she crazy as hell. But you, you got to make sure you get a, a copy of this book. I love her. I love her family. And Jesse is my brother. So I, I hope you will get a copy of this book. circle. I will not bend for your thoughts or will. I will not, not smoke earthly leaves of green for thee. I will not curse or hate anyone you don't like. I will not hold a grudge because you don't like me. I will not kiss a hairy ass for gold, but I will flow across this earth with love, peace, and positive energy. I will live happy using the wisdom of my ancestors that hold meaning in my heart that have passed over to the other side. And I will enjoy pleasure and solitude all the days of my life. And I will write it all down on soft white paper. <laughs>